In today's video, I'm gonna share 10 habits for a lean beach body. Habit number one is to establish a consistent sleep-wake pattern around the amount of sleep that's gonna allow you to feel and perform your best. When you're getting the optimal amount of sleep each and every day, you're gonna be able to control your appetite better, you're gonna have more energy to perform your best in the gym, and all that you're doing throughout the day, your mood is gonna be elevated, so all your loved ones and everyone around you is going to be thankful for that. You're going to be more focused, have more mental clarity, so your boss is going to appreciate that. If you're self-employed, you're gonna appreciate the amount of productivity you have throughout the day. So establish that consistent sleep weight pattern, make it a non-negotiable, you will be so grateful you did. Habit number two is to hit the bathroom, void yourself, and then step on the scale while detaching emotion from the experience. It's just data. The daily weigh-in doesn't matter so much as the weekly and monthly trends. So if you notice that your weight spikes up today, this single day, you're not going to make a judgment based on that. But if you notice that your weight isn't trending in the right direction for the week or after two, three, four weeks, it's not trending in the right direction, you know you need to modify your daily habits. So it's a simple form of accountability. Habit number three is to make your bed. I have read countless books on personal growth and success. And just about every single one of them mentions the importance of making your bed first thing in the morning. It's got everything to do with discipline and how you do one thing is how you do everything. Habit number four is to make your diet feel mindless and effortless with structured meals that allow you to thrive and feel alive. I start my day with a breakfast shake, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweet vanilla cashew milk, an oslo of spinach, a banana, and a scoop of protein powder. Meal number two is four free range eggs from my friend's local farm, some mixed veggies. In the bowl, I have two third cup of oats and 140 grams of frozen mixed berries. Meal number three is 260 grams of Greek yogurt and 140 grams of frozen mixed berries. Meal number four is my dinner. I have a variety of meals. My go-to meals are usually salmon, some uh, sweet potatoes and some veggies. I'll have a chicken fajita bowl once a week. I might have a tuna steak another day. Um, just a variety of meals that, um, again, I really enjoy and I really don't have to think about. I also have a structure in regards to the timing of my meals. I start my day with a cup of coffee immediately and usually about an hour, hour and a half later, I'm having this breakfast shake. And then every four hours afterwards, I have my next meal. So establishing structure with the consistent meals that you're having throughout the week, as well as the timing of those meals, it's really gonna make your diet a lot more effortless and mindless to follow. Habit number five is to get out for a daily walk. It's a simple activity that does wonders for your physical and mental health. Now, I personally don't count my steps or anything like that. I just love to get out here, but I know a lot of others love to track their steps as a form of accountability and to challenge themselves to continue to improve. Habit number six is to fill your mind with positive information that's going to help you grow, to express the best version of yourself. When I'm in the shower, when I'm in the car, I'm always listening to um, an audiobook or some sort of personal growth information. Uh, this month in the Lose Fat Get Jacked Inner Circle, uh, our book of the month is You Owe You by Eric Thomas. It is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Highly recommend it. I mean, I'm just getting into it right now. Um, and just loving every second. I think part of it is because he grew up in Detroit, right across the border from me. So I can relate to uh, the scenery that he's talking about, the situation that he's talking about, but he just conveys his message in um, just such a raw and real way that is simple to digest and apply in your everyday life. Habit number seven is to have an open mind for change and to challenge yourself each and every day. Day. I just got out of a fusion flow class here at Moto Hot Yoga Windsor. Uh, it's an advanced class. They started offering uh, about five weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago, and I have been very, very intimidated by it. It is a, a very challenging class, actually extremely challenging class. I wasn't sure I was up for the challenge and it turned out to be exactly what I need, especially to improve upon my handstand skills, my balancing skills, my conditioning. Uh, I had a freaking blast in there. I am definitely spent from that. Looking forward to a little post-workout meal after this. Got some Greek yogurt and frozen berries uh, in the car waiting for me. But every single time I have been feeling intimidated about a class here at Moto Hot Yoga. Um, it's, uh, it has always turned out to be exactly what I need to, to take me to the next level at where I'm at in this journey here. And even just stepping foot into the yoga studio was very intimidating for me. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, didn't know what to expect. And I am absolutely loving this journey. 
just crushed an amazing leg workout from the August Lose Fat Get Jacked Inner Circle Workout Program. Um, absolutely incredible energy in the gym today. This brings us to habit number eight, which is to follow a workout plan that complements your lifestyle, enhances your lifestyle, brings out the best of you rather than take away from it. Now, I train four days per week. I could be in the gym six days per week if I wanted to, but there's so many different activities that I wanna do that bring out the best of me when it comes to like yoga, paddle boarding, hiking, just living an overall active lifestyle that improves my mobility, my flexibility, my cardiovascular conditioning, um, just makes me feel in tune with my inner nature, just brings great joy to my life and just enhances the zest I have for, I mean, really living my life to the fullest. It's truly what this is all about. Just had a freaking blast getting together with one of my friends from grade school, Sean, who is also a member of the Lose Fat Get Jack Inner Circle. He's gone through an incredible transformation himself. We just ate at Funky Chow, one of my new favorite places here. The chef is absolutely freaking phenomenal. I had the, uh, Hawaiian poke bowl, I had three slices of the smoked salmon, and a Filipino dish, um, lumpia, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, and this brings us to habit number nine, which is like when you're dining out, you don't need to pig out. You don't need to stuff yourself silly. You're always better off getting a dish that you absolutely thoroughly enjoy, that you wanna take your time chewing. You wanna savor every freaking bite, and you wanna enjoy it to the point of satisfaction. Like eating any more than you need to eat than is necessary isn't going to bring you any greater joy. It feels so much better to walk out of there feeling satisfied, uh, not feeling overstuffed, and knowing that you just really enjoyed that meal and you enjoyed it the company you're with. We were there for two hours to enjoy that. So you can see this portion sizes was relatively small. We took our time chewing, we had great conversation. I just really, really enjoyed ourselves. So that's one of the biggest tips that has really helped me get lean, stay lean, and have this beach body that really allows me to feel my best and uh, just live my life to the fullest. And habit number 10 is have an evening wind down routine that allows you to calm your mind, calm your body, and prepare yourself for a great night's sleep. So what I like to do is begin with some dead hangs. It's great for uh, stretching out the shoulders, relieving pressure on the spine, your hips, really opens everything up. Then I'll do some gentle stretching, oftentimes uh, for the hips, for the inner thighs. Uh, then I'll get outside with my uh, free homie Chiefy dog over here. We'll catch a sunset on the horizon. It's just behind the top of the tree there. I get a better view when I turn the camera around. Uh, and while I'm out here, I'll either write my gratitude journal, I'll do a brain dump, kind of things that I need to get done tomorrow, or just anything that's on my mind that may still be on my mind when I'm going into bed. So I want to get it all out now so it doesn't keep me up. And then I'll read a book. Um, if I don't have a book to read, if I'm like currently listening to an audio book, oftentimes I'll read a, uh, a couple of verses from the Tao Te Ching, uh, Wayne Dyer's interpretation from it, and change your thoughts, change your life. Or I'll just read... Uh, um, the Daily Stoic, today's uh, lesson from them. So uh, those are the 10 habits for a beach body. Those are habits that I live by that have allowed me to get lean, stay lean, and live my life to the fullest. really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. So please share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback on today's topic and your own personal experiences, the habits that you live by to achieve a beach body. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.